Writing this book was a journey of discovery and learning for me. Uh, typically when one writes a book, one outlines the book in uh, great detail and you know exactly where you're going to go. You have a road map and that's what you're going to research and that's what you're going to talk about. Well, I thought I knew what this book was going to be about in the beginning, and in fact, I even in the beginning thought it was going to be perhaps spiral bound as a notebook with a lot of photos that were annotated showing how research was used uh, to support the design of those facilities, whether they're individual rooms, uh, whatever. And the book at that time, and still does, focus on acute care, not outpatient, acute care, and areas of direct patient care, the places where patients spend their time, not the lobbies. And the reason that uh, I did this is because I uh, had seen several hospitals recently completed that had great lobbies, and then the design ended. And uh, except for the computers I saw, they were very bland, colorless spaces. And it took us back to, my God, the 1970s, before Plain Tree. And I, I, I was shocked that I could be seeing this today. And so I was really, um, uh, I, I found this so distressing that I decided to write a manifesto about it. So the book is really a manifesto, a polemic about that. And get back to the discovery and learning, um, I started with that. And then I, um, my, the book took a circuitous path. I would fortuitously run across something that was just fascinating and I would start to research it, and, and it would open up into more and more and more. I felt like Alice in Wonderland, drinking the potion, going down the rabbit hole, and finding these fascinating things. And I thought, well, my God, I've been doing this for so many years. If I don't know it, I bet there's a lot of people who don't know this. And so then that got into the book, and the book got bigger and bigger, and, um, and then I'd run into something else. So... Um, there were a lot of surprises. Infection control was one of the things that I became so passionate about and I learned so much about. I was stunned by how little I actually knew with respect to the, um, the, the um, nosocomial hospital acquired infections that hospitals are dealing with now and design professionals can no longer just relegate that to the infection control officer you really have to understand this yourself in great detail.